Good everyone, my name is Graphics. If you look at the top right corner of the screen, you see a problem that is based on link mechanism. And we are told to replicate that diagram there, where the question there says that the crank OA of the mechanism shown rotates clockwise about O. The end B of the link AB moves along the line PQ and FD. Swings about F. Obtain the locus of E for one revolution of OA. OA is 40 mm, AB is 150 mm, BC is 65 mm, CD is 130 mm, DE and DF are 75 mm. So, to give a clearer view, I would like to use this diagram. Right? So, you watch. Now, the parameter given here, if you can zoom this through, the question here is saying that OA, OA is 40 mm. So, the crank OA is 40 mm. So, the first thing we should draw, we we'll try up and draw our horizontal line and our vertical line. So, we'll be able to draw what? Our crank OA. So, let's do that and see. Now, I'll take this and I'm going to draw my horizontal line this way one wrong short this way right there the first thing then the next thing is to pick a point the point you are picking should be point what point a i mean point o sorry that should be what point o now on that point O, you draw your vertical line on the point O, this way. So if I do it this way, I will have it. You can see that? So I've got in the point, which is called point O. Now but we are told that the crank, at least the circular this crank here OA the radius is 40 millimeter so I'm going to take my meter rule and I'm going to measure 40 millimeter so from this from this to here is 40 right and I'll place it here and I'm going to draw my 40 this way. Right? I'm going to draw the 40 this way. You can see that? That is the first thing. Then we're told it is with what I have here. It is rotating in a clockwise manner. Put it in a what in a clockwise manner. So I can just use my first square, my compass to denote that this way. Go in the direction. So I can just put it this way. So it's going in a clockwise manner. Now the next thing is I'm going to divide that circle into 12, right? So like I told you earlier, any of those options, so I'll be using my compass this time. So I'll take the radius, which is 40, here, and you place it at this point. You mark up, you come to this point, you mark up again, then you come to the center point here, you mark left, and right, and right. Now with the help of your rule you are going to just pass it through the center here please to this point and end at the other part of the circumference 
right then the same thing too go here to end the other parts of the circumference here also you do the same thing in the other part of here here also you do the same thing in the other part of here this is what we have here now if you look at this we have um, OA right is closer to this this point you see on the diagram is here and A is closer to here so that means this line here will be what my OE I'm going to take in this this way and I'll call it to be what my A so this is OE that we have there now the next thing is from here from the center here from a certain point where f is is given as what 200 and what 216 so i'm going to measure 216 from the center here that again so let me use a bigger one 216 so we have places at this point from one to 21 to 16 so let's just move backward and see now from one to that point we have been 216 so from here this is 200 and 16 right so I'll do that is 216 here. Here we have my 216. That's again. So that point will be my point. What I have here, the point will be my point F. So this is my point F here. So that will be my point F. Now, we said from the question, we are told that is 75, right? If you look at what I see here, F is what? 75. So I'm going to measure 75 on my meter room from here. To this point here is 75 here right and i'll place it on f this point then i'm going to strike and add this way i see that i'll strike and add this way that'll be the first thing i'm going to do start placing that this point now after doing that that means your d falls at any point on this line. Now the next one, you told that the line PQ mm, is 50 millimeter away from this horizontal line here. So I'm going to measure 50 millimeter upward. So let's do that. So if I come to this point and I measure my 50 on this point here, from zero to 50, from zero here, then fifty is at this point here, right? So let me take it up so you have a good glance of it. So that is what we have here. So I'll use my c square and my t square to draw that this is where the fq is so let's come and long moving at this point now we have successfully drawn this we we'll call it p and what and q so a b is connected as in point b is connected to this point here via a right so what i'll do is 
what is a b from the question say a b move along pq right and um, a b is 150 so what i'll do is i'm going to take my meter rule right and i'm going to measure 100 and what 150 so from the beginning of this line here the beginning of this point here to here is 150. So I'll place it on A and I'm going to mark on PQ. So that will give me my point B. So this point here I marked here is my point B. Right? And I'm going to now connect A and B together. So I'll connect A and B together with a straight line. You can see that now the next thing i'll do here is that we have something called cd the cd is 130 millimeter and if you look at it very well it is cd so from cd is what 130 but what about c cd is what 130 what about cb now from here the cb here is 65 so from B to C is 65. So I'm going to measure 65 from this point here. I start from zero. I'll measure 65. 65 here. And that is what? Point C. Right? So from point C, B is 65. And from C to D, D4 somewhere around here is um, 100 and what? Wonder down 50 as in cd is 130 from the question see cd is what 130 so i'm going to measure 130 on my meter rule this way measure 130 from here to it down to this point here is 130 you can see that then i'll place it on c at any point on this line here, I'll mark. We are marking that point I mark will be my point D. This point here is what? My point D. So I'm going to use a straight line and connect D to C. This way. You can see that. Now the next thing I'm going to do is that ED is 45. So, and E from where we have here, ED is 45, right? So, I'm going to place it on D. I'm going to mark 75 on my meter rule. ED is 75. So, mark 75 here, from here to here is 75, right? Now, place it on D. And it's here. That's the 75 here. Not E. So this is my E here. So 75. So I'm going to just connect because if you look at our diagram, F and D is connected. So I'm going to connect FD at this point. So that's what we have. I have successfully replicated this diagram. Since we are told that um, B moves to and fro along Q, I can simply just draw something here this way and this way to show that B is moving in this manner. So, as this crank rotates in a clockwise manner, B moves left and right as they move left and right this move in this direction also oh good so we're told to calculate to find the locus of what the locus of d right so let us move further if you look for the locus of e for one revolution right so let's move and see how we can do that so what we'll just do here is to replicate the same thing 
for every point. So since we have A, here will be A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, A7, A8, A9, A10, A11. So we'll do that for every point. So if we say from A to B is this, right? Automatically, please on A1, repeat the same process and see mark on what? On B. So they are the same point, right? So that will be my A1. Also, so I'm going to draw a straight line to connect A1 to B this way. You can see that automatically from that A1, I'm going to now mark from B to C. This might be to C, so I'm going to mark on there also. So that will be my word C1. Right now, what do you notice? Then C is connected to D, so I'm going to mark my line from this point to D this way. Right now, please don't see and mark on that line, which is there. So, I'm going to call that point D1. Can I see that? So, I will join them with faint line C1 and D1 will be joined with faint line also. Then, we are told E is giving us 45. So, we know from here to this point is E, right. So I'll take it to D1 so that I can get what? My E1. So this is my E1 here. Right? Then I'll repeat the same process again for A2. So I come to A2. I'm going to take it. I'm going to come to A to B. You can see that? So I'll come to A2 to mark on that. P key also to get B2. So this is my B2 here. Now use my meter rule to connect B2 and A2. Then since on the main diagram from B to this point is C. Right from B to this point is C. Then I'll come to B2. I'll mark on the line of A2, B2, A2 to get what? My C2. Right? Then I know very well that from my C to my D is this. Right? I'll come to C2. I'm going to mark on the line, this line here, to get my what? My D2. So this point here, you have what? D2. So I'm going to connect D2 and C2 with my meter rule. Right? Then I know that from D to E is this. So I'll come to D2 and I'll mark on that line of C2, D2 to get my what? My E2. Right, I'll repeat the same thing, taking the measurement of A to what? To B, right? Then I'll come to A3, I'll mark on the line PQ, to get my what? My B3. So I use my meter rule to connect B3 to A3. Then I'll have this. Now in doing that, we know very well that this is B to C. So on the line of A3, B3, I'll be getting what? C3. So we will mark it. So we my C3 here. If you didn't need one after the other, so the lines will not be too much in your eyes. So this is C3. Right? So I use my meter rule. So I know very well that from D, to what from D to 
Who is this? So I need what? D3 to C3. So from C3, how mark to get D3. So D3 and D is on the same point. Right? So connect them together to C3. This point now. So I know very well that from D to E is this. So automatically, this will be my D3. This point here is my D3. So the same thing, I'll take the, I'll gauge A to B again. Then I'll come to A4 and I'll mark on B3. You can see that on PQ to get my B4. So I'll use my rule to connect B4 and A4. And I know very well that from B to C is here, so automatically in the line of B4, A4, I'll get what my C4 by marking this point. So this is what my C4. Right? Then we know very well that from C to D is this. So automatically to get D4 placed on C4 and uh, mark on that line to get what my D4. So this is what my D4. Right? So I use my meter rule and connect D4 to C4. You see that? Then I know too that this is B to what? B to E. Right? So I'm going to place it and I'll mark on the line. D4 and C4 here and D4 on this point here. So I'm going to get my what? My E4. E4, this is E3 here. Right? Now the next one is I'll repeat the same process from D from E to what? To B here. Can I see that? Then I will come to a5, I'll mark on this line to get, I'll get my what? B5. So I use my meter rule to connect A5 and what? B5. So on the line of A5, B5, I need to measure B to C. So we place it on B5. To get C5. So this point here will be what? My C5. So I'm going to connect to get C5. I need to take the distance of D to C. Right? To get D5. So I'll place it on that C5. And I'm going to mark on that arc to get my what? My G5. So from D5, I know that if I place it on D to E, on the line of DC, so I'll place it on D5, here, to my D5 here. First of all, I'm going to connect, so I'll mark on that line, D5 and C5. So I'll connect that first, oh, C5 and D5, here to here. So with the radius of what D to E I place on D5 to get E5. And this point will be my what? My E5. Then the same thing with the same measurement from here to this point B. Right? To this point B. I'll place it on A6. I mark on PQ. Then I'll be getting B6. So from B6, I'll join A6 and B6 together. Right? Then to get the line C6 on this B6, A6 line, I need to take AB. I need to take CB on the line AB. 
this this way right and now place it on b6 now i get my c6 so this is my c6 so i'm going to join six six after i join c6 i'm going to take the measurement of b towards to d and i place it on c6 here i mark on that line the arc this arc here let me show you i mark on this arc here so i'm going to get um d6 here so join c6 and d6 together so on the line of c6 and d6 i'm going to place my compass on d and e so i'll go to d6 now mark on the line of what c6 here right so that's what we have at this point here that will give us my d6 so on the line take the same measurement a b here right come to a7 mark on the line here we'll be getting b7 here so use your metal rule and connect b7 to a7 so on the line of b7 a7 you need to get c7 so you take the measurement of, of bc here and you come to b7 and you mark on the line of here I will go to mark the line here and you'll be having your C7. C7. Now you connect so it to get B7. You take the measurement of what? Of C D. Take the distance of C D, the radius of C D. Right? You place it on C7 here. And you mark on the arc here. So you're going to be having your d7 at that point so this point here you what your d7 now you take your metal rule and you connect those two points together d7 to what to d7 right so to get the lines e here you take the readers of d to e here you come on d7 line and you're going to mark and you're having your what your e7 so this one e7 now the same thing you come to a b again you put it on h a h and you mark on this point here that will give us our what our b8 join our two here so you join b8 to e8 so on that line you mark from b to c so you can come on b8 and you get your what your c8 so this is what line of what c8 and you connect so you to connect to get your um d8 you measure cd from the beginning it is this and you come on c8 and you mark so this point here where you mark that will give me my d8 so you connect d8 to c8 This is what we have here, right? So for me to get my E8 from D, so I'll mark from D to E, and I'll come on the line of D8, which is here, and I'll mark on C8 here. So I'm going to have here my E8 from this point, and that'll be what? E8, right? Then the next one is to mark Take again from A to B. You can see that? 
it will come to nine a nine a mark on the line here to get your what your b9 now you connect b9 to a9 you connect b9 to a9 so when you've done that then to get your c9 you take from b to c again and you come to point nine and you mark on that line a9 c9 a9 b9 to get c9 so this is what the line c9 the point c9 so i want to get d9 so i'll take the measurement of d to t right and i'll place it on c9 mark on that arc put the c9 here to mark on that arc here to get your d9 so this point here is my what my d9 so connect d9 to c9 connect d9 to c9 okay right so on c9 d9 i'm having e9 so i'll take the radius of d to e and i'll put it on what on d9 mark on line d9 c9 so this line here and i'll be having this that will be what e9 then do the same thing for 10 we we'll come to A to what to B again. I'll we'll come to 10, A10. Now mark on that line PQ. I so will get what? My B10. Right? So I'll connect B10 to A10. B10 to A10. You see? Right? So on B10, A10, I will have C10. So I'll take the radius of what? Of BC here. Yeah? And I'll place it on what? On B10. And mark on the line A10, B10 to get B10. To B10. Right? So for me to get D10, I'll place it from D to C. And I'll come from C10. And I'll mark on that arc. Mark on this arc here. So we're getting what? The D10. So at this point here is my D10. So I'm going to connect D10 to C10. D10 to C10. You see? So on that line of C10, D10. I'll be getting E10. So I'll use the radius of what? Of ED of DE. Here. And I'll come to 10. D10 here and I'll mark on the line of D10, C10. So I'll be getting my what? My E10. So the last but not the least, A11. I'll come to A. I'll come from A to what? To B. I'll mark on E11 to mark on that line PQ. I'm having my point to be here. So this is what at this point is B11. So I'm going to connect B11 to what? To A11. Right? So on the line of B11, A11, I'll get my C11. So here's the word BC. From B to C, I'll place my what? From B11 to what? To C11. So this is my C11. For me to get D11, I'll take the radius of what? CD. Right? And place it on what? On D11. And I'm going to mark. Place on C11. I'm going to mark. The arc to get my what my D11 here. So the D11 I'm going to connect 
B11 to what? To C11. So, from that C11 and D11 line, I need to get E11. So, I'll take the rest of what? Of DE. Place it on what? On D11. And mark on the line of D11, C11. I'm going to be having my what? My E11. Now, I've successfully drawn all the points. And the question says, you draw the, the locus of what? Of E. Now, connect all the points of what? Of E. I connect them, connect them using my French curve, and I am going to be having something like this. So from E, all this, from this to this, from this to this, then this to this, then to the same thing here too. Connect this too. So this is the locus of what? Of E. Assuming we are told to draw the locus of C also, we're going to connect all this. But since we are told to draw only the locus of E, we're going to just draw all of this, right? So locus of C means you connect all the points of C, but the question indicates that we draw the locus of what of E. So if you have found this video helpful. Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and don't forget to what to click on the like button thanks for watching